Welcome to Cyberary. I am Raymond Evans and I will be your subject matter expert for Cyberary's web app penetration testing course. In this video we will be discussing web app pen testing tools. So here are some of the tools we will be discussing that will be used throughout this course. There will be a couple more that will be used throughout the course that will pop up here and there. However, if you're running the Kali and Kali 2 environment, they come pre-installed so you won't have to worry about getting them. We will be using Vega, which is a web vulnerability scanner. It's spiders, it tests for cross-site scripting, SQL injection, and XML injection, and more. It tests for vulnerabilities automatically, and you can also set up a proxy to have it test through. Vega also has an interceptor proxy, which allows for you to perform manipulation of packets, which can come in handy. Where to find it? We can find it at the link here, or comes pre-installed on Kali and Kali 2. Next we have Burp Suite. Burp Suite is a web application vulnerability scanner as well. It performs spidering, it tests for SQL injection, cross-site scripting, XML injection, and a whole lot more. It also has an interceptor bu proxy built in, which again allows you to capture the packets as they traverse and allows you to manipulate things that are being that is being sent. It also has a repeater tool which can allow you to re-attempt an attack and allow you to change the packet before you send the attack. And then Burp Suite has a really nice report builder built into it as well, which is very handy. It also has an active scanner and a passive scanner. However, we will not be using this tool due to the cost of it. Uh, it is a $300 tool and I'm not going to have my students uh, go out and get that. It can be found at the Port Swigger website and it can be found, well the free version can be found pre-installed on Kali and Kali 2. So if you want to mess around with the free version and see the built-in tools that it has, then by all means go ahead and do that. Next we have SQL Map. SQL Map is an automatic SQL injection and database enumeration tool. It tests for SQL vulnerabilities, dumps and cracks password hashes, executes commands on the database. It allows for user privilege escalation and post request injection. This is an excellent tool that is free. When we get to our SQL inject uh, exploitation lesson, we will be using this along with SQL sus. Next there is SQL Ninja. SQL Ninja is an automatic SQL injection and database enumeration tool. It tests for SQL vulnerabilities, dumps and cracks password hashes, executes commands on the database. Um, it also performs user privilege escalation and post request injection. It can be found at the link below, but it can also be found pre-installed on Kali as well. We're not going to really hit this tool, um, but I want you to know that this tool is available for you and can be a pretty powerful tool in your arsenal. Next we have Arachni, which is a web application attack and audit framework. It acts the same way as Vega and Burp Suite, except it's super customizable. We will be using this tool. It audits for SQL injection, cross-site scripting, buffer overflows, and a whole lot more. It also has a web crawler built in, and it uh, allows for vulnerability verification as well, which is really awesome. You can find that at the Arachni Scanner website. And this is a tool that will be used, so have this downloaded and installed. Next we have Nikto. Nikto is an open source web server scanner. It identifies installed web servers and its software, and it checks for outdated versions of servers, and it also checks for any server configuration file, uh, problems. You can find that at the link below here or you can find it pre-installed in Kali. And then we have Searchploit. Searchploit is an excellent tool to use. It's a, an exploit database that's easy to search and it's preloaded with tons of exploit scripts. So it compiles all available exploits from exploit DB in one handy location and it also compiles a bunch of scripts as well. So normally the exploit DB database, people only think of that as, hey, this is where things from Metasploit sit. But in actuality, it actually has a lot of exploit scripts that you can search for and uh, 
it's, it's pretty handy to have, especially when you're trying to perform um, a security audit and you need to make a quick check to see if an exploit exists for something. And finally, we have Nmap. What is Nmap? Well, Nmap is one of the most basic tools you're going to hear about in network security and cybersecurity. Nmap is a network discovery and security auditing tool. It's found on every single Linux distribution that's out there. Nmap is a fantastic tool. It's used for host discovery, port scanning, OS detection, version detection, and it has an awesome script engine. So what's all that mean? Well, Nmap will go out and it'll identify everything that is alive on your network, all the machines that are communicating. Then it'll go through and it'll scan all the ports of that machine and it'll tell you what kind of services are running and the versions of those services. So if you're trying to scan for something that might be an older service version on a network and you're trying to figure out whether or not you're running that specific piece of software, well you can run that Nmap and it'll detect if some kind of server software is running that might be an older outdated version that needs updated. We also do OS detection, so it'll tell you what kind of operating system a server is, or a desktop, or whatever it may be. It'll tell you what that OS is. And then finally, it has a really robust script engine. This script engine allows you to do some really awesome things. So a lot of people think Nmap is just the scanner tool that you use for a network. When actually, Nmap allows you to do things like detecting cross-site scripting, SQL injections, brute forcing databases, all kinds of really awesome stuff. And Map is definitely a tool that you want to know how to use and that you want in your arsenal. Learn how to use it well and learn how to use that script engine well because there's some really awesome tools in there that will help you be better at what you're doing. So what was covered? We talked about Vega and Burp Suite which are both web app vulnerability scanners that are used for fuzzing and trying to find vulnerabilities on a web application. And we talked about SQL Map and SQL Ninja, which are both used for getting information from databases. We also talked about W3AF, which again is another web application fuzzer, as well as some other built-in tools with it. And we talked about Nikto, which is used for scanning a server and identifying any kind of misconfigurations or blatant vulnerabilities right at the door or anything that might be interesting. And then we talked about Searchsploit, which is an exploit database that's built into Kali Linux and can be used to look up exploits or scripts that can be used against a target. And then we talked about Nmap, which is a super robust script engine and network scanner and all kinds of awesome stuff. Happy hacking, everyone.